Hi there, just a couple minutes on this table. Um, it is, uh, well, first of all, it needs to be refinished, and that's really the only problem with it. Uh, it is the, in my opinion, like the ideal uh, dining table or kitchen table. I mean, this would go beautifully in a country style kitchen. Uh, right now, it's in a, a home that's occupied by some tenants, and uh, the table's here, so we're, we're permitting them to use it. But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's really, the, the table is in overall great condition. Um, there's no major problems anywhere, other than the fact that it needs to be refinished. Uh, provenance. This table has been, the current owner has had it since the late 70s. He claims that he have bought it from William Doyle's in New York, and it was from the sale, a sale of uh, Gloria Vanderbilt's furniture and whatever else she was selling. Um, so uh, he has no reason to, to lie about that, but I don't have any documentation to prove that. Uh, I'm also told the table was made by Offray, but Offray did not put their name on it anywhere that I could see. Uh, and generally, I have, I've seen a couple of their pieces, one of them here, and they had their, their name on it, and it just wasn't there. Uh, like the dresser that we have listed has the name, and I have a, uh, an end table, but they didn't put the name here. But on to the next thing. Uh, let's get underneath the table. Here's the, the top of this, where I'm told, was, is genuine 18th century parquet. Look underneath here. I wanted to see the texture of this wood that is supposed to be from the 18th century. Are you getting it? All right. So it looks like Offray built the table around this parquet top. Uh, and it, I mean, this is just really cool. Uh, it would be nice to have a, a whole floor that looked just like the middle of this table. Uh, so just show the top and how it's all put together. We got that. Now, it looks like the table comes apart. We've got these, let show over here, kind of slides apart. I guess this thing comes out. Uh, you know, these people have some of their things on it, and I'm not going to pull the table apart now. I don't know if there were ever leaves for the table. Uh, when it was bought from William Doyle's, it didn't come with any leaves. So, uh, you could always make a leaf. Well, I don't, you know what, you'd have, I don't know if you'd need to modify the table to make a leaf. Judging by looking underneath, I really don't know. Uh, it's just the top that slides apart. The side of the table does not come apart. So um, I have absolutely no idea about the leaf situation. Uh, what else do we have to say? There's plenty of pictures in there. We photographed it uh, before we decided to do a video. So the pictures will be a little bit better because there won't be anything on the table. And the measurements are in there. As far as delivery of the piece, well, you're going to have to come pick it up or have someone pick it up for you because we don't deliver furniture. And um, any questions or if you want to uh, set up an appointment to see the table, just send us an email through eBay and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, that's it.